Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is RISC versus CISC. In this video, I'll be telling you what is RISC, what is CISC and what is the difference between these two. See, this is a very important topic. Most of the time you get a question in your university examination. So you must listen it carefully. Let us begin. What is risk processor? From the name, from the term risk, which stands for the reduced instruction set computers. You must remember this. So reduced instruction set computers means it has very, very customized set of instructions, right? And each instruction cycle, there it requires one clock cycle. And there are three parameters in every cycle. And those three parameters are fetch, decode and execute. So risk processors are very simple uh, processors means uh, capable to perform the simple operations. But in case there is a requirement to perform some complex tasks. So that complex task can be executed by combining many simpler tasks. So RISC chips, they require several transistors and there means it has a capability, means the property. It has reduced execution time for the instructions. On the other hand, if you talk about CISC, CISC is complex instruction set computers. Right, complex instruction set computers means it consists of large, means it consists of many complex instructions. Instructions may vary from simple to complex nature, right? So, and CIS, like uh, CIS processors, those instructions takes longer time to execute the instructions. And it has a variable length instruction format also, right? So, CISC has a capability to reduce the number of instructions on each program, right? And it has the capability to build complex instructions directly, frequently in the hardware. And you must be aware that the hardware is always faster than the software. Now, let us discuss the difference between the RISC and CISC. If you have to differentiate in between these two, so there are various parameters upon which you can differentiate. First, RISC has less number of instructions, reduced instruction set computers, while CISC has large number of instructions. RISC has fixed length instruction format and it means instruction is executed in one clock cycle. While CISC has variable length instruction format, it may have two instruction format, three means three instruction per format accordingly. And it takes more than one cycle to execute the instructions. In the case of RISC, it has simple and limited addressing modes, approximately four. While CISC has complex and more number of addressing modes. RISC uses hardwired control unit while CISC uses microprogram control unit. Since RISC uses hardwired control units, so there is no flexibility, right? But it CISC has the flexibility because it uses microprogram control unit. Transistors are used for more registers in the case of the RISC, while transistors are used to store the complex instructions when we are talking about the CISC architecture. Execution time is less in RISC because of the reduced instruction set, less instruction, fixed format, and execution time is larger in case of the CISC computers. RISC, it is less expensive and less powerful also. Why less powerful? Because it can handle only the simple operations. While CISC are relatively expensive because it uses large, it has large number of instructions, instructions takes more than one clock cycle. And since it has the capability to perform complex tasks if quickly, so they are very, very powerful. RISC does not support array, but CISC supports array because it has large number of instructions. If you observe, 
in terms of the load and store instructions so load and store instructions in register to register program interactions are used for rest while in sys it is used for memory to memory instructions right means the kind of instructions the kind of actions is in between the register to register while that is in between the memory to memory in case of the sysc risk program here in the case of the risk program needs to take more space in the memory but it takes less space in the memory in the case of the sysc means risk takes more space of the memory and since now memory is not that much of the major concern that is why we can say that means risk is the preferable one risk is the preferred one right uh, let me give you one example as you can see in this particular diagram there is a main memory two registers one execution unit is being taken let us say uh, this is one two Three, four location. This is again one, two, three, four. Let us say it has means there are two contents in the main memory. One content is at this place. Another content is at this place. If you talk about the content X in the main memory, so its coordinate is what? Its coordinate would be one comma one. While if you talk about the content Y, its coordinate is what? Two comma two. means x 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 are the locations of the memory where the contents are stored into the main memory so just to understand more memory uh, space and less memory and how it happens actually so if there is a requirement to multiply it what is going to happen in the case of the reduced instruction first you have to load the content x which is available at 1 comma 1 into register a there are two registers then you are loading the another content y this is the x then you are loading the another content y into the register b then you are doing the multiplication and after multiplication because you have to store the result into this so again whatever the result was available in register a you are copying again into this location right similarly what is being happening in the case of the sysc so when you are talking about the sysc it has the capability to perform the uh, like complex instructions quickly what it is going to do it is directly multiplying the content of x with y the content x is available at this location y is available at this location means what the Uh, action it is going to take it is multiplying x and y and whatever the result is that is directly stored into the location x so this is how you can understand uh, more instructions needs more memory less memory what do you mean by this there is one more important point about the pipelining right so you must remember that point also means pipelining is the concept which is being introduced in risc risk architectures can be used with high end applications like telecommunications image processing video processing speech processing um, and some of the examples i have listed out over here while risk architecture can be used with the low end applications low end applications like for the security system for the home automation so this is how you can differentiate on the basis of risk and risk depending upon various parameters thank you so much for watching this video